The easiest way to access your account settings is from the top left hand corner if you hover over your name and then go to account settings. Business information is where you set your username, your contact details, payment options and your business details which includes the details of your business registration, your registered address, your business address and also details about the stakeholders. Payment information sets the various payment sources used for eBay. You can set a number of payment options. Here we've set a bank account which is used for payments, a MasterCard which is used for selling costs when there aren't enough funds left on the account to cover them, and also a PayPal address for making payments on eBay. Business policies sets your returns, payments and shipping rates for your listings. You set a policy and then apply it to a listing, and so you can have one policy which applies to multiple listings. Here we have the type of return policy, returns, payments, posts, etc., and also the details of the policy that's been set. We will go into these policies when we talk about listings later. Addresses is where you define the various addresses used by eBay. You can set a different registration address, delivery address, dispatch address, return address, and payment and collections address. Communication preferences is where you set the notifications you get from eBay. The most important of the communication preferences are the delivery options, which is where you set the emails that you want messages to go to. So you can set your registered email address, your email you use to send messages to other members, and the email you use to receive messages from other members, as well as an address you want your billing information to go to. So it's obviously very important to keep those accurate. And also your selling activity where you get a list of reminders to do with your selling activity. For example, you may want to know if a item is sold or there's a return that you need to deal with. You may also want to know about your seller notifications to find out if you have going to go below top seller and also resolution case. You should find out when buyers have open cases and when messages have been submitted so you can keep on top of your cases. Return preferences are set from the seller hub. If you go to sell and then orders and then return preferences, you can set basic return rules which manage how returns are processed when a customer requests a return. You've got two options. One is you can send an automatic refund under certain circumstances. So you could say if the return is £20 or less and the reason that the customer has chosen it is because it arrived damaged, then you can automatically refund the customer. Or you can automatically reprove returns under the same circumstances. So you need to set the total return amount and the reason for the return. You can also create an advanced return rule where, where you can choose a range of values for the refund and you can also create a list of items to apply these refunds to or a list of categories and a name for the rule. Selling preferences are accessed from My eBay, Summary and then Account. We've discussed return preferences already. Preferences for items awaiting payment were previously known as the unpaid item assistant. This sets how long a seller will wait before they will automatically cancel an item. So here you can set to automatically cancel unpaid items and you can set the number of days. The multi-quantity listing setting sets whether you want listings to stay out of when you're out of stock. If listings stay out of when you're out of stock, they'll still be live on the eBay site, but they will not appear in search. This will maintain the listing history of the listing, which will mean that your listings will perform better in the best match algorithm. You can also choose whether buyers can exceed how many items you have left and also manage who can buy from you. So you can block buyers that have, for example, bought items for you and not paid for them in the past. Postage preferences says how you deliver your products to your customers. At the top here, we've got the postage programs you're enrolled with. The global shipping program is where you enable eBay to ship items to international locations that you haven't specified postage for. So for example, if you've excluded South America from the list of countries that you want to ship to, but you have opted into the global shipping program, customers from that region can still see your products, but they will be shipped to a domestic location and eBay will, will ship them from there to the final destination. This is a great way of expanding the geographical reach of your products. Click and Collect is a program why, whereby your products can be delivered to a local collection point. In the UK, this is an Argos store. Postage rates tables are a way of setting the domestic and international shipping for listings. We'll be discussing these in the listing videos. Set same day business handling times means you set the time before which if an order is placed, you'll be sent the same day. If your customer buys more than one product at a time, you have to set rules as to how the postage will be specified. So for example, if they buy two listings 
and the postage on each is two pounds, how is that postage combined? This is what is set in the combined postage rules. So this if this is selected, then it will allow buyers to send one combined payment for all items purchased, and you can set the delivery the time scale on which that is possible. You can also set a rule which determines how the postage is calculated. So here you can set add an amount for each additional item or subtract an amount for each additional item. Here a rule has been set to add one pound for each additional item. So it'll charge the postage on the first item and then one add one pound for each additional item. And there is a second rule here to add three pounds for each additional item. Or you can have free post and packaging. There may be certain locations that you don't want to post to. And this is done at the account level under the exclude postage location setting. The list of exclusions is managed at the individual postage policy level. However, under this setting, you can choose whether you wish your postage exclusions to be overridden by the global shipping program. So you would exclude a postage location, but say if someone wants to buy this item from me, then they can do it through the global shipping program. Final setting is always ask buyer for a phone number. This setting is useful if you're selling large items which require a phone number for the courier. However, I know from experience that buyers do not like giving out their phone numbers. Thanks for watching this video. For more content, please subscribe to our channel or check out our Amazon playlist. You can also see more hints and tips at our website, which is vendlab.com blog.